you that if we remain united and resolute... There's a governor, I hear him complaining all the time. Uh, Pritzker, I hear him, he's always complaining. ...that the attributes of self-discipline... Only CNN would ask that question. Fake news, go ahead. ...of quiet, good-humoured resolve... What do you have to lose? We join with all nations across the globe in a common endeavour. I have a friend of mine that he didn't know we had so many countries in the world, 182 countries. We may have more still to endure. We have to open our country up. We have to get going. We have to open our country up. Using the great advances of science. What do I know? I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor, but I have common sense. And our instinctive compassion to heal. If it does help, great. If it doesn't help, we gave it a shot. What a contrast in leadership. There you have Queen Elizabeth talking about a common cause. And then you have Donald Trump, who had an unscheduled press conference yesterday evening. Uh, for what reason, few people really know, because uh, if, if you break down what the president said, and a lot of people have been analyzing it uh, over the night. It's pretty uh, much nothing it, of news. No, nothing new, nothing noteworthy. The president attacked a governor. Mm -hmm. uh, in personal terms, uh, for no no reason at all, actually. Uh, it's the last thing you want to do in a time of crisis. Uh, he continued to push an unproven drug uh, whose efficacy on this pandemic is still unknown. And he has his hack, Peter Navarro, running around breaking up meetings where White House officials, uh, Dr. Fauci, is trying to help you and your family. Uh, trying to prepare you and your family in the hospitals that you and your family may have to go to. And Peter Navarro is actually throwing documents. Uh, here's a hack who doesn't even know uh, the economics. He's, he's, he's the one responsible for all of our trade wars. And now he's going in and yelling at Dr. Fauci, claiming he knows. I mean, this seriously is this is the death of expertise. Yeah. This is this is when the idiots have 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 been exposed uh, for who they are in the, the time of America's greatest needs. And, and last night, the president attacked a governor. He pushed an unproven drug. And then he continued saying that the buck doesn't stop here. I must, I, I must ask, Mika. Yeah. What, what did America get out of cable news networks running a two-hour rambling press conference where he says the same exact things every time. And if you think about the amount of time that he gives, even before the questioning, to an unproven drug, when we have ventilator shortages, when we have uh, testing shortages, mm -hmm. I mean, dramatic testing shortages in the president's own home county of Palm Beach County, where Mar-a-Lago Mar is, there's still extra and, and you also have the numbers spiking up across the nation. We have a crisis of hospital beds, not only in New York City, but I'm worried about rural America, where the rural health care system has been absolutely ravaged over the past decade by continual cuts in Medicaid by Republicans. I mean, this is we're in a crisis and he's continuing for what, the third week now to push it on proven drugs. So why why or why is MSNBC? Why is CNN? Why is Fox? Why is any network running these press conferences where he keeps talking about an unproven drug that might work for malaria, might work for lupus, doesn't work for this. And, well, and Dr. Fauci, again, constantly. Dr. Fauci wasn't even allowed to answer he the wasn't question allowed last to night. Talk. Donald Trump got on television last night and he was just stalling, according to reports. He said he liked the good ratings. He likes getting out there because a lot of people watch. Well, well Joe, they uh, the, him Dr. Nothing. Fauci wasn't allowed to talk about what he feels is important to say about this drug that the president keeps pushing. A lot of people would say, follow the money. There's got to be some sort of financial tie to someone somewhere that has the president pushing this repeatedly. But more importantly, he had Dr. Fauci and Dr. Birx, which most people, I think we can universally agree, are trying to slow the spread or trying to contain this virus, virus or trying to save American lives as we are looking 
at our worst week yet right. ahead. Right. They're trying to save American lives, and he has them scrambling for 90 minutes to prepare for a two-hour news conference. He's going to exhaust his top tier so that he can get his needy camera time, well, I, so that yeah. he can get out there and riff, quite frankly, illiterately. Uh, well, Riffing it, illiterately, well, saying things that aren't true, going off script. And by the way, I have to ask, who wrote that script, because it was as if an eighth grade politics debate team well, wrote it. It was pathetic. Okay. We are in a place right now where the president is getting in the way of progress and taking time away from the team that is supposed to be helping us get out of this crisis. He wasted our time and theirs. Well, and, and, and he did it. Jonathan Lemire, we have AP's Jonathan Lemire with us. Jonathan, again, everything you heard, it's like the president has his catchphrases, like during the, the campaign, it was believe me, believe me. And he always, whenever, you, you know, there have been articles written about how when he doesn't have anything else to say, he goes back to these catchphrases and loops. And he's done this with the drug, uh, especially. He's done it with so many other things. Uh, but, but it's kind of like the perfect call, which we'll get to later on. But in, in this case, he, I mean, he just sounded foolish. Unfit, not just for the presidency, but unfit for any any job anywhere. And I don't care. His, his biggest hacks can come forward today and try to defend that performance. And of course, they'll do the they'll do the whataboutism with Joe Biden. Joe Biden's not president right now. Donald Trump's president, he's, and he sounded unfit and foolish. And he rambled around for a couple of hours. The only difference is Mika talked about how Dr. Fauci was not allowed to say what he was feeling about. The drug. What he knows. But it's not feeling. It's Donald Trump who keeps saying the same thing over and over and over again about this drug, which is, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to do anything, but what do we have to lose? Well, you could say about that about dandelion and raindrops. Let's sprinkle dandelion drops in rain. I don't know if it's going to help. I don't know. He admits it. He admits he has no idea whether this is going to work or not, and yet he keeps rambling on about this drug. He keeps rambling on about personal fights with governors. He keeps rambling on about how nobody saw this coming. It's such a lie. HHS Secretary Azar last year in 2019 was asked at a conference what keeps him up at night, and he said the pandemic. The pandemic, of course, is what keeps us all up in this room at night, that a pandemic is coming. Everybody saw this coming in the science world. 